Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. In case you're new here, my name is Jess and I love doing DIY, making clothes in a seemly but pretty way. In today's video, I'm going to share with you how I make a mini skirt with inch size short. I don't know if you have this feeling or not, but I always feel a bit uncomfortable when I wear a short dress or a mini skirt. I always have to watch out for my move to avoid some unexpected revealing moments. That's why I think that having a shot inside a mini skirt would make me feel so much better. I can freely move in my skirt without worrying about anything. This DIY is actually a combination between a mini skirt and a fitted shot of pen. So if you already have the pattern for both of them, you can combine them together. But if not, you can follow my step-by-step -step tutorial to make your own patterns. So hope you guys will like it and try it out. And let's get started. The first step in making the pattern for the mini skirt. The first one is the skirt pattern. To make the front pattern of the skirt, I draw a straight line cutting at the edge horizontal line of the baby foot. It will be the waistline of the skirt. From the first straight line, I draw another one at 23cm next to it. It's a quarter of my hip side and it will be the hip line of the front skirt. From the first straight line, I keep making another one at 38cm from it. It's the length of the skirt that I want and it's also the ending line of the skirt. From the end of the waistline, I mark up 19cm, which is a quarter of my waist side plus 2cm for the dark. From the end of the hip line, I mark up 24cm, which is a quarter of my hip side plus 1cm. From the end of the ending line, I mark up 25cm, which is a quarter of my hip side plus 2cm. Then connect on these marks together to create the side line of the skirt. I redraw the straight line to make the side line nicer. From the end of the waistline, I mark at 1cm on the edge horizontal line. Then connect that mark to the mask on the waistline. Based on it, I draw a curved line to create a new waistline of the front skirt. After that, I mark in the middle of the new waistline before drawing a perpendicular line to that mark. The length of the perpendicular line will be 7cm, which is the length of the dart at the front of the skirt. From the mark in the middle of the waistline, I keep making two more marks at 1cm to the side of it. Then connect them to the end of the perpendicular line to create the dart at the front skirt. Add in 1cm for seam allowance at the waistline. 1.5cm for seam allowance at the side line and 3cm for seam allowance at the ending line. And we will have the front pattern of the skirt after cutting. You will need to cut this pattern in full fabric at the edge horizontal line. Moving to the back pattern of the skirt, I draw 3 lines with the waistline, the hip line and the ending line in the same way that I did at the front skirt. From the end of the waistline, I mark up 20cm which is a quarter of my waist side plus 3cm for the dart. From the end of the hip line, I mark up 25cm, which is a quarter of my hip side plus 2cm. From the end of the ending line, I mark up 26cm, which is a quarter of my hip side plus 3cm. They are on 1cm extra compared to the front pattern. Then connect 3 marks together to create the side line of the skirt. From the end of the waistline, I mark at 1cm on the edge horizontal line. Then connect that mark to the end of the top side line. Based on it, I draw a curve line to create a new waistline of the skirt. From the end of the ending line, I mark out one and a half centimeter. Then connect that mark to the end of the side line. Based on it, I draw a curve line to create a new ending line of the back skirt. I also redraw the side line a bit to make it nicer. Make sure the length of the side line at the back and the front will be the same, so you can connect them together later. At the waistline, I mark in the middle foot. Then drawing a perpendicular line from that mark later. The length of this perpendicular line will be 11cm, which is the length of the dart at the back skirt. From the mark in the middle of the waistline, I make two more marks. I make two more marks as 1.5cm to side of it. 
protein connect them to the end of the ventricular line to create a dot at the back skirt. 8 in 1 cm for seam allowance at the waistline, 1.5 cm for seam allowance at the sideline, and 3 cm for seam allowance at the ending line. And we will have the back part of the skirt after cutting. Now I'm making the part for the short inside the skirt. To make the front part of the short, I draw a rectangle with 24 cm width, which is a quarter of my hip side plus 1 cm, and 35 cm length, which is 3 cm shorter than the length of the skirt that I made before. From one grid line of the rectangle, which is the top of the shirt, I draw another line 28 cm next to it. It's the quarter of my hip side plus 5 cm. It's also the dip of the cross line of the shirt that I want. From one end of this line, I mark to outside 4.1 cm, which is 1 by 20 side my hip side minus a half cm. Then I mark in the middle of this new line. So I can draw a perpendicular line to that mark and cut to width line of the rectangle. From the cutting point on the top width line, I mark to one side 8.5 cm, which is 1 by 8 my waist side minus 1 cm, and blood 1 cm for the dart. I also mark at the other side of the top width line 10.5 cm, which is 1 by 8 my waist side blood 1 cm, and blood 1 cm of the dart. So the width between two marks will be 19 cm, which is the quarter of my waist side blood 2 cm for the dart. At the length between the top width line and the end of the cross line, I mark at 1 by 3 of the line foot. Then connect that mark to the end of the hip line and the end of the waist line to create a cross line of the front shot. From one end of the top width line, I mark at 16 cm on the length line next to it. It's 1 by 5 my hip side. It's also the position of the biggest part of my butt. At the cutting point on the other wood line, I make two marks at 12 cm to side of it. It's a quarter of my thigh minus 1 cm. So the width between two marks will be a half of my thigh side minus 2 cm. It will be the ending line of the front shot. Then I connect one end of the ending line to the end of the cross line to create the inside left line of the shot. I connect the other end of the ending line to the mask on the length line next to it that I made before and to the end of the waistline to create the side line of the shot. At the top of the cross line, I mark down 1 cm foot. Then I connect that mark to the other end of the waistline to create a new waistline of the front shot. After that, I mark in the middle of new waistline before drawing a perpendicular line to that mark. The length of the perpendicular line will be 7 cm, which is the length of the dart at the front shot. From the mark in the middle of the waistline, I keep making two more marks at 1 cm to side of it. Then connect them to the end of the perpendicular line to create the dart at the front of the shot. So the leftover waistline will be 17 cm, which is a quarter of my waist side. Adding 1 cm for seam allowance at the waistline, the cross line and the inside leg line, 1.5 cm for seam allowance at the side line, and 3 cm for seam allowance at the ending line. And we will have the front part of the shot after cutting. Moving to the back part of the shot, I draw a rectangle in the hip line in the same way I did at the front. From one end of the hip line, I extend it to 9.2 cm, which is 1 by 10 my hip side. After that, I mark in the middle of the new hip line, then drawing a perpendicular line to that mark and cut to width line of the rectangle. From the cutting point on the top width line, I extend the perpendicular line to cm foot, then drawing another perpendicular line to the end of the first one. The width of the new perpendicular line will be 4.1 cm, which is 1 by 20 my hip side minus a half cm. Then draw a line to the end of this new perpendicular line and cut the end of the top width line. After that, I mark a 20 cm from the top of the new line. It's the quarter of my waist side plus 3 cm for the dart. On the length between the top width line and the hip line, I mark at 1 by 3 of it first. Then connect that mark to the end of the hip line and one end of the waist line to create a cross line of the back shot.
at the cutting point on the other width line and make two more marks at 14 cm to side bed. 14 cm is the quarter of my tie side plus 1 cm. So the width between two marks will be 28 cm, which is the half of my tie side plus 2 cm. It will be the ending line of the back shot. I connect one end of the ending line to the end of the cross line to create the inside lead line of the back shot. I connect the other end of the ending line to the mask on the lane line to the end of the waistline to create the side line of the back shot. At the waistline, I mark in the middle first. Then I draw a perpendicular line through that mark later. The length of the perpendicular line will be 11 cm, which is the length of the dart at the back shot. After that, I make two more marks at 1.5 cm to side of the first one on the waistline. Then connect them to the end of the perpendicular line to create a dart at the back of the shot. Make sure the length of the inside lead line and the side line are the same at the front and the back of the shot, so you can connect them together later. Adding seam allowance for the pattern in the same way I did at the front pattern after that, and we will have the back pattern of the shot after cutting. Now, let's start sewing this mini skirt. I use 1 meter of khaki fabric for this DIY. I start with the skirt first. After cutting the front and the back of the skirt, I copy the dot too. Then I finish the dot there after that. After sewing, don't forget to use the iron to make the dots nicer. Then I connect the front and the back of the skirt together at two side lines. Before sewing, I will do one side line of the skirt to be the zipper side foot. After that, I mark at 25cm from the top of that side line. 25 cm is the length of the zipper I will use the later. Then sew the rest of the side line and the other side line together. At the ending line, I draw a line at 6 cm above it first. 6 cm is two times the seam allowance that I kept there when making the pattern before. After that, I fold the end of the fabric to that line and sew to finish the end of the skirt. I add a 25 cm invisible zipper to the position I kept for it before and sewing with the zipper foot. After that, I sew two side lines under the zipper to finish that side of the skirt. And we will finish the skirt part after sewing. Moving to the inside short part, I copy the dot to the front and the back of the short after cutting. Then I sew to finish them after that. Now I'm connecting the front and the back of the shot together at the side line and the inside left line.
Before sewing, I need to mark the position of the zipper at one side line of the short foot. Make sure the zipper side will be on the same side with the skirt that you made before. Then sew the rest together after that. After sewing, I connect the cross line of the shot into pieces together. At the end of the shot, I draw a line at 6 cm above the ending line foot. It's two times the seam allowance that I add there when making the bottom before. Then fold the end of the fabric to that line and sew to finish the end of the shot. Now I'm connecting the shot to the skirt at the waistline. Make sure the zipper area are on the same side. After sewing, I keep connecting the zipper area of the shot to the skirt and finish the side line of the shot under the zipper after that. Making a small cut at the top of the zipper before turning the shot to the inside of the skirt. Then make the under stitching seam after that to keep on the end fabric to one side. And I finished this DIY. Here's my final result. This skirt looks the same as the normal mini skirt that you can see. However, I don't feel worried or uncomfortable when wearing it anymore. And as it's half short inside, I can make the skirt shorter to make my leg look longer as well. Hope you like this DIY and try it out soon. See you next week!